Is the, where's the one? This one's way better. Yeah. No, I think yours is better. Is mine really? Well, there's an SS here. <laughs> oh wait, I can I can change it. So you can just yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah wait, I'll share my screen. Uh, wait, make you make a call. I'm gonna call you on here. Hey. Oh, look at that. We're still in the same call. Oh, yeah. Let me see. All right. Mm -hmm. How do you do pop out? Oh, nice. Look at that. All right, this is going to be the most perfect tier list of season eight. How long is Smite going to be down for, bro? Uh, I'll just put SS, I guess. SS. I mean, the only garden SS is going to be King Arthur, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> okay, so should it be like A plus and A minus or whatever? Um, or do we not care? I mean, just maybe. I think I think it's fine just like it is. I mean, I don't know if okay. you're gonna put an E. Like I don't know what's the like. I I literally have not seen like fucking sixty percent of these cards in the game so far. Wait, are we gonna do like overall like? Uh, I mean, I'm not like seeing or solo to a sort of... It's actually impossible. Let, let's, let's just so, so, okay, well, solo land first. Okay, solo land first. Just do, do, do straight up solo land. Alright, just like take the somewhat popular guards that you, you consider. Uh, I mean, I think Osiris is probably A. But, so, Osiris, what, what are you building them? Do you go like Bluestone or do you go like Mannequins? You're trying, to, you're trying to get a YouTube video out of me here. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interview, dude. This is free content. Oh. Well, when you when you pick a Cyrus, you want to get a mannequin, okay? Because it's <laughs> kind of fucking broken. Let's turn up music. I'm not turning my music, man. So I'll turn it down. You just mannequin. I I I try to trade every time you can. Like, oh my god, do you, do you want me to go like YouTube mode here? <laughs> Dude, what else are we supposed to do? Oh, bro, we are so desperate for time, aren't we? It is how it um, is. Yeah, I mean, I think Osiris is pretty solid, you know? I think he might be, he might actually be better than A, I'm not sure. It kind of depends. If you, like, I if mean, you, like, hard snowball the lead, then you can kind of go, you can kind of go off. You can just put it, like, where your initial view is right now. We can change it a bit around if, like, after you put the guards down. I don't think he's S. I think, okay, there has to be, like, there's got to be, like, an A+. plus. Yeah, okay, but just, you can also just do it. Okay, sure, do an A+, plus, that's fine. Oh, fuck. In the bottom, it says click me. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I just don't. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, but that mannequin, that seems like a pretty OP starter. Like, literally, just any god can build it and get value from it. Like, you don't even I mean, have to be. It's not a very good I mean, pretty much every god that has autos. What? What? Uh, next guy, next, next guy, next guy. Yeah. You just go mannequins usually, and like, is there some scenarios where you go Warriors X if you know you're not gonna win the trades, or if you're gonna win uh, the trades harder? Okay, or... well, listen, if you boys are slamming in Osiris, uh, probably just go mannequin. I don't yeah. think you ever go Deathstall, because if you fight into a mannequin, you're just gonna get out-traded, even with Deathstall. Like, Deathstall just kinda gets owned by mannequin. Yeah. Um, Axe is pretty solid, I haven't tried it on Osiris, but I... I think just with how good mannequin is right now, I don't think you would go... Axe. I mean, they're pretty similar. It's better troll that Manic you can almost get tankier with mannequins. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Warriors. like slightly tankier because it has more flat reduction, but yeah, the thing is probably just go mannequin on Osiris because you don't want to get delayed, but if you go Axe, Sundering Axe would probably be really good on Osiris too, because he has a lot of poke. Uh, Wukong, probably also an A+, I would say. Yeah, it utilize, utilizes the what? Bluestone quite a lot. I actually, I don't know. I think Bluestone's kind of shit, so I don't know. I, I tried him like two times. I think I played it like once or twice. And Bluestone, that was when I was running Bluestone every game in like the noob games. 
But I don't know if you would go Bluestone or Warriors X anymore. They probably they're probably both fine. Um yeah, you still got the same build with like Soul Eater. Yeah, that makes sense. S. Yeah, no, Wukong's just kinda he's just kinda Wukong, dude, and like he's just solid. Yeah, Devil Seem being pretty strong still. I think. Yeah, you could go Bluestone or X. Probably Bluestone is a little bit better though. Just because you kinda tend to like you kinda never die on Wukong no matter what you build, so you probably don't need the tankiness. But how does the flat damage reduction work on mannequins into Bluestone? Do you just take like three damage less per tick? Yeah, I mean it just you oh. take like basically no fucking damage from Bluestone. That's kinda like Oh, that's kind of lame, though. Yeah, that's why Bluestone is kind of shit. If someone goes Madokin or uh, Warrior's Axe, you're <laughs> doing, like, basically no damage. But it helps you clear the wave. Yeah, that's kind of boring, though. Like, I've, I, I would say, like, with, with that being in the game, that definitely puts down value on Bluestone. Well, yeah, it does, for sure. Uh, Ama Tsurasu? I don't know. I haven't played Ama yet. I, haven't I never seen really... That, right? I don't really like playing Ama too much. I'd say she's probably like she could probably be like S or A. I don't know. Uh, kind of depends. Berserkers is really good right now. Witchblade is pretty solid. Winged is good. They don't have to regret, but you never really build it. Cat yeah. Shield got a buff. Yeah, Cat Shield is definitely a buff, right? Like, Man, that's not good. a buff. I feel like almost probably like A plus or like S to be honest. I don't know. I haven't played her yet, but she's probably really strong right now to be honest. Just because Catch got buffed and some other stuff. And Berserkers. Yeah, she's like. And she abuses Mannequin. Yeah, what about a jungler? About, about a jungler? You want a jungler on there? Yes, yeah, so I'm a jungler on here. Uh, I'll put Erlang on there. That's what I was on. I don't know if I'd put him like S, but uh, he seems still super strong. You have a few items you can go from starter. You can go like. I think maybe he's one of the. Best guards with Io the jungle, like the ward thing, but yeah. I think it's somewhat hard to utilize in ranked, so I don't really know what to rate that yet. And you can go mannequin. Well, I mean, he also abuses mannequin. Yeah. I, I definitely put him like probably towards S. I mean, okay, wait. Do, would you consider set SS? First of all, like probably, yeah. and all that shit. Like, I'll put set, set an SS if it comes down to jungle. And then. I think so. Earlier, I'm a, um, he probably would like. Oh, yeah, I, well, I guess this is the problem if, if we're doing a solo to this or. Yeah, just do, so, just do solo first. Solo first. Okay, yeah, we'll do solo. Because you cannot be the I don't know where Achilles is. I think he's just. I think he's an A dude. I think Achilles is shit. I, I hate Achilles. I think he does nothing. I think. He got pretty fucked by mannequin users too, I'd, I'd assume. Yeah, I mean, he can, use a, he can use mannequin, but it's not that great. I mean, Sundering Axe is also pretty solid for him too. Yeah, it's I just long range. His clear is so shit, dude. His clear is so bad. I hate it. But how does clear work in Solo then now? They increased health on minions or what? By a little bit and then. No, wait. I'm not sure. Achilles, Achilles clear has never been good. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially with Axe. If you're going. I don't know. I just feel like if I'm playing against an Osiris and Mannequin and I'm Achilles, like, I'm not going to have a good time, dude. True. Okay. I think Kikolan is ass. That guy seems pretty damn strong right now. Kikolan has always been fucking nuts. Uh, he's good at like literally all stages of the game if you play with it correctly. If you play off a of rage and his ult, you can't fuck with this guy in lane at all. If his ult's up, you're gonna, if you're gonna, you're just gonna die. If he's like half rage and he has his ult up, you're fucked. You can't fight him. Um, I don't know, dude. It's fucking broken. Uh, have we done? Oh. Have we done the mannequin on him? Mannequin. Yeah, or do you go Warrior X? Hold up. Hold up! Cat diff. What, what's the cat doing? Just being a cat, man. Mm. Uh, I haven't, I haven't tried Mannequin, but like, the thing is, Mannequin, oh, Axe, and Bluestone are all good on Kakon, but... Yeah. I would just go Axe. Let's do that. Just because the upgraded, like, you, you can't really upgrade Mannequin. Um... And you can upgrade Axe and do, you know, two broken fucking Axes. The the upgrades from Axe like Sundering is just really good. And Heroes, but I would never go Heroes on Kakolan. But yeah. Like, I think Kakolan's just fucking broken, so, dude. So those starters you would upgrade, uh, if you go Mannequin on some guy, like some guys, 
Are you looking to like sell that towards mid game, late game, or are you looking for one of the upgrades? For Kakon? No, just if you, yeah, for example, if you go mana well, or Kakon. Okay. okay, well, any god right now, like the only upgrade that, like the only starter that you would upgrade is Axe, I think, for Solar right now. Yeah. You never, you never upgrade Death Toll. I don't, think, I don't think anyone should ever build Death Toll right now. If you're playing like a Death Toll god, you just got Mannequin. And I don't think upgrading Mannequin is good. Yeah, so you're looking to it's sell just that like towards mid game. Yeah, well, I don't know about mid game. It's just like whenever like you get to that slot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Warriors Axe calling that's that's kind of broke. Um, the king. I would say he's probably like. He's probably like in the middle right here, because he's worse than Kakon. He kind of loses lane to Kakon. Um, but I think he owns some of these gods. I don't know, I'd probably put him here, but Kikolan beats Arthur. Yeah, I kinda Just hate playing against uh, King Arthur, Kikulan the most. I feel like those are like kinda hard to gank when you get like a bit well, yeah, I mean, on them. If, if these gods get a lead, it's kinda over for the game to be honest. Yeah. King Arthur Bluestone. I've never upgraded it. Okay, you're trolling dude. <laughs> um I think Arthur can like it can do fine in the Kikolan, but it generally should lose. Um, I think Arthur can do fun into Osiris, but Osiris kind of seems pretty nuts right now, the mannequin. But yeah, I'd say I'd say he's probably like in between. He's like in between A plus and S. Colin's probably above him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I tried Osiris jungle, but uh, mannequins too. Did you 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 played this jungle? Yeah. Mannequins just fucking nuts on Osiris because he sticks to you, and then if you can stick to some of the mannequin, you get like the full stacks on it. Yeah. yeah. Different value. Um, so what about just quickly, what about like assassins solo and stuff? Like are you considering playing Susano, like Bakasura and stuff? Yeah, I mean I think Susano is just gonna get dogged. Probably. From Mana skip starter, get finish animosity. Right, that's gonna that's gotta be broken. Yeah, that's a, that's what everyone was like talking about at the start, is if you could like if you just like rush boots and then like go for a good upgrade later on. Like, uh, just hold your starter till the end, but you just get rolled in lane. Yeah, um, especially in solo lane. I think maybe you have more Yeah, you need... The to... starters are just so OP in solo. You need it. Um, <laughs> I think the only... I, I played Kamazots once, and I mean, it was in a bronze or a gold game. So and that's also know. one thing as well with, like, the tier list. Like, it's well, pretty I, hard to get I a can, good feel. I know for sure these two are strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you play those a lot too. But like it's pretty hard, but like the guys have played like one or two times to actually see yeah. where I think they are. I think Kama. I'm not sure how good Kama can be, but I could see him definitely being like A to A plus. I mean, he utilizes catch shield pretty well. You don't have a lot yeah. of people building like too much anti heal right now. Like I, I've building... really been wanting to try him more, but I haven't played it. Yeah, people are building like Desolation or Divine, and like not every jungler will build brawlers, and like. If you can get the like a, a decent amount of power, you have a cat shield. Yeah. Maybe combine with a bit of protection, sure. In fact, good spot, honestly. Bro. Uh, we're seeing pretty solid so far. Yeah, I'd say camo here. All right, hold up. Stall for content. Someone's calling me. Oh, right, there's a call. Uh, Alex is gone. We are, we are, we are the content. I'm sorry, streams, but uh, the content is gone. Wait, can I open? My, I need to see the items. For like, because what does Bluestone even upgrade into? Like, you get a Bluestone where it's like percentage current health, and then I don't know what the red Bluestone is. But yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be any solo lane guards that's not SS tier. I would maybe assume Kukulan would be up. Like, I would assume Kukulan is straight up the best solo lane guard right now from what I've seen. Alright, I'm back, I'm back. Hey, welcome back, the content is back. Yo, what's up? Okay, uh... Is it oh yeah, camo. Yeah, I think catch are getting buffed is pretty fucking nuts, to be honest. Yeah. Like, guards that can abuse catch are gonna be... Kind of highly, but I think Amma's probably gonna be nuts. To be honest, I think Amma's probably gonna be like S or something. 
Um, <laughs> if she can like get through lane, I don't know. I haven't played her that much, but yeah. you go catch shield on Ama. Berserker's got buffed. Mannequin is good right now. I feel like she's gonna be pretty nuts. I think Kama could be up here too. I'm not sure yet though, because I haven't played him too much. Wait, so one thing as uh, well to, to add a question. Oh, there. wait, is this is this a ranked tier list or a comp tier list? That's a deal. Just, just ranked, just ranked. Okay, perfect. Uh, one uh, thing as well, what about phones? We saw a small nerf, to, or I don't know if it's a big or small nerf, but there's a nerf to phones. Like, are you still opting in to build phones most games or? Oh, yeah, it's actually, it's actually, that's a good question, Lazaro. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think thorns is dog shit. Yeah, <laughs> add everyone here, don't build thorns, dude. I'm pretty sure it's shit now. I mean, I, I haven't built it, but like, I don't know why you would ever build it. They nerfed, they nerfed the max damage on it by a bit, and they also nerfed the reflect damage. Like, I think it's just kind of shit now. Yeah. Unless there's like a specific case, like if you're in a, like if you're against a Merlin, you might go it. It's because it like completely fox Merlin. But I, I haven't really played it with it too much, so I don't know how bad it is. Yeah, that's definitely like the guards where you, like, again, like with the Merlin, you maybe have like a few other like Ragin maybe where you want to build it into. If you're like a guy yeah, some people have going some people have been going sunder. Yeah. TP blink. I think I was trying TP a lot. And I don't know, TP, it's like the classic, you know, TP is just kind of normal. Like it can make a big diff from like a like if you TP to gold or like TP to a fight and duo, it could be really big. Yeah, for sure. But it could also just not be big. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards the blink right now, still, but maybe TP in like some situations. Sludge is, I think Sludge is dead. I yeah, want to build Sludge. Then if the protections would, would buy two per target. Yeah, and the health. And the so health do you want coup? Okay, overall for like every starter on any god in Sotho, I would go Warrior's Axe or Mannequin. That's it. I, I wouldn't consider any other option. I would go Axe or Mannequin right now. That's it. TP for land pressure, maybe. Dude, when I, um, I when I heard Bluestone and Death Toll <laughs> came back, I thought that was gonna be like yeah, yeah so did right. I. But I guess not. Yeah, I would only go Warriors X and Mannequin from what I've seen. Um, I think Kama could for ranked. If this is a ranked two list, Kama's up here. Bluestone and Arthur, I wouldn't. You just you just die. It makes you so easy to kill. If you like, it's just kind of easy to abuse someone that builds bluestone. I mean, when it comes to ganking somebody as a jungler, if I see someone with bluestone compared to a warrior's axe or even mannequin, yeah, I mean, I'm like, against fuck it too. It, man, I'm coming over and getting some kills. Yeah, I mean, it's just so easy to kill them. Um, um but yeah, if this is if this is ranked, I would say Ama Ama could be up here for sure. I think Ama's the most iffy like throw up. It could be S or it could be A plus. I'm not sure. Yeah. Osiris might honestly be A. I don't know, dude. I'm always so conflicted with Osiris and just, ranked. Yeah, just put it there for now. That's fine. Let's go to the next guy here. Let's let's talk about Tyr. Do, do, like, oh, he, Tyr. Would, he would be a bluestone guy, I would say, right? Like, But is bluestone enough yeah. like on Tyr? I played a lot of... I played a good amount of bluestone Tyr, but... I don't know. That's why you walk the golden TP back, right? Um... I haven't tried Axe on Tyr yet, but I think Tyr is probably tanky enough and like never dies anyway. You can probably get away with going Bluestone, like the same as Wukong. Yeah. You could probably do the same thing as Wukong and just go Bluestone on Tyr. Yeah. yeah. Tyr's just a weird case where like he's never going to be like, like Tyr's never just going to be fucking ass, dude, or like A plus, I don't think. Because he's like, he's really like iffy. Like if you're playing into uh, like an Ares or like, uh, certain cases where like some gods are just really bad for tier, like he's gonna be terrible there. But yeah, other situations, yeah. tier could be really good. In so, lane though, I think tier is always gonna be like a solid A. Uh, yeah, like, that's like every time. But tier could also be like really good into certain gods, or he could be complete dog shit down here in the other gods. He did get a buff recently with his three getting eight more protection oh, yeah, early game. Good. And how is, is that anything that you can feel in lane or like? You never, you never level your three in lane. You right, never so do you that. don't even feel it. You don't feel it. No, you, that. you don't level it at all. Okay. I mean, like it's, I mean, it's nice, I guess, but like you're never gonna level your three for that, because you'd rather get a heal or damage. Yeah. Um, I think Mulan should be like here, dude. I would never pick this god ever in my fucking life. <laughs> I think fucking this god is absolute dog shit. 
Yeah, quite like that. Not much to say about that. Yeah, yeah. You, you just said all that. What do you think about Red Solo? Should. You saw like a bit of Red from like at, at LAN and uh, both jungle and solo. Like, do you think it's good? I don't think Red is very good. I mean, I haven't played it, but I haven't played it season eight either. Yeah, have you played but against I've, it? No, I haven't played against it either. Uh, I mean, I think, I, mean I, think, like, I think it'd just be really easy to farm it. Yeah, I mean, what you're looking at is the red, like, rotations and his, like, late game damage, right? It's like I mean, it's the same as, it's the same thing as, like, when Thor was strong, like, you just look for rotations, but I think if Rat yeah. falls behind, it's, like, the same thing as Thor, like, you have to get a, you have to get a Rat ahead, same as Thor. Yeah, but it's, is if, it, if you don't think it, like, win lanes or anything too crazy right now? I don't know, I mean... I probably wouldn't win against this S tier guys, like... I, I mean, Rat right versus, like... Arthur could call in any of these gods and then just gets rolled. Yeah. I also played oh wait, no, I played I played against uh, Nika. He played Rat one game. And I was playing two and I soloed him. And I think I think Rat's kinda bad. I've never seen it like pop off. Only like Final Cape playing a ghost, I think. Uh, he's probably he's probably there. I definitely wouldn't put him it probably like, depends. I, I think his late game is good. Obviously with Fawns getting nerfed a bit as well. I guess he's like a bit weaker. Because he's like really know. good at with Fawns, right? I think there's just way better gods. Yeah, for sure. I don't know why I'd ever pick it. Um, Guan. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Guan's probably S. Especially if this is ranked, like. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. if if your team plays with you in ranked and you heal abuse and you, yeah, I mean, I think it's just it's pretty straightforward. It's the same thing as like last season, I think. Yeah. Especially with Catchell getting buffed. I just don't go sludge anymore. I go wing blade, and it's been doing fine. Let's get some good on the line. Get a catch shield, and then you're pretty much happy. Well, I mean, anything ghost plays is gonna—they're gonna make the god look good because, like, how well their team performs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, go on easy ass. Yeah, I see that. Um, especially, dude, I can't believe they buff cat. That is fucking crazy. Yeah, let's get a magical god on there. It's like Serp, Cthulhu, there's Yom maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing about like Cthulhu and Yorm is I don't want to play them right now, to be honest, because you can't see in the trees. Like if you're <laughs> if you're fighting in the jungle, you literally can't see people below you. I guess, especially especially Cthulhu. Like you literally you can only see their health bar. Um, but they're uh, Cthulhu is probably just a normal A. I mean, it's like pretty standard. Yeah, and he just goes Vorax too. Or what? Actually, do you go Medicaid yeah, you go, with the Cleave attack? No, I've tried. I've tried Destal, and uh, let me tell you, man, it's dog shit. Oh, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I would just go Axe on him. I, I think I would go Hero's Axe on Cthulhu. I don't even just know because, what else. Uh, it gives. It's like a shell, basically, like every seven seconds um, on whoever gets hard CC near you. Oh. And it, it scales off your HP, so if you're in Cthulhu oh, you and just you have like 4k HP, shield. you give, yeah. Nice. You have 15% of that to, to whoever's getting CC next to you. Set solo? Yeah, I'd go mad on set solo. I did it I did it a while ago. I'd say set's probably also like I mean it's probably I mean solo. It loses to Arthur a little bit. I think Arthur is probably Set's worst matchup, except for maybe Osiris. Set's so probably S too. Ah, uh, dude, when I, when I look at Kama compared to these gods, he's probably A. He's probably A plus. Yeah. But would, would, would uh, you consider Set with like Boomburst Hammer for late game or like no starter, or would you just go nah, like? Nah, I would just I would just go mannequin. Yeah. Probably. Okay. I mean, I haven't tried it too much, but yeah, it's hard to say. You probably you probably just go axe or mannequin on him. You could probably get, you could probably do axe too and go for sundering axe late since sundering axe is fucking broken. Yeah. yeah but okay. if you want to. You kind of generally want to play for early on set, so I'll just go Mannequin. Um, I don't know about Yorm. I haven't played Yorm yet. Um, I don't know. I feel like Yorm would probably... I heard before on PTS you could use Death Toll on him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a bug. <laughs> that but... fucking troll. I never played it because I'm not a dirty bug abuser. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about Yorm. I literally, I don't know. I think he's, I mean, he's probably just like average. I don't know. He's probably like, he's probably like an A, like a, or like a B plus or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's from him B, probably. I put him there. I don't know. There. I don't know anything about Sobek because I'm not a Sobek player. Kind of gross. 
But mm-hmm. he's probably a. He has a few good matchups, right? And he's magic. Yeah, he is, he's good in Arthur. He's good but, in the field of picture. But ranked, I'll definitely not put him in, in, in the top. Oh, yeah. If this is. Okay, right. This is a rank two. So he's probably B then. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, he doesn't carry it all. But it's probably an A. I don't mm-hmm. know. Okay. I mean, he doesn't carry it all. Okay, never mind. That's yeah, he's B, probably fine. Yeah, what about Loki? Have you seen any Loki play? Like, I feel like he was no, like. Played Loki. A, I haven't played Loki either. Bit weird season seven. I assume you're like, missing play Manic now. He's definitely um, weaker, but not having good fawns, like fawns getting well, nerfed as well. I think like the whole point of Loki was the horns, right? Like you yeah. would just run at someone and then you'd pop the horns and they wouldn't be able to play the game. Yeah. And you'd kill them. And now that he has not have horns, like. I don't know. He's probably B. I would never play him. I think he's bad. I don't think he does enough either. Nike? I don't know about Nike. Nike's probably pretty good. Just because she does like the same thing where she doesn't like let people play the game at all. And the axe is probably really good on her too. Yeah. Wait, where even is she? I can't even find her, dude. To the right, to the right. Uh, but but she's, she's probably she's probably A to A plus. I feel like Sunder is a bit easier to pick up now that Fawns is not like straight up meta anymore. So like yeah, support can go even in solo land you can maybe smack a f- Yeah, you can definitely time a Sunder. Sunder in there, right? Uh, I'd but, say like, she's probably a uh, She loses like a bit of value in that regard at least, but her laning phase and all that stuff I would still assume is like annoying. Yeah, I mean it's basically just like it depends on your carries, right? Because if you have like a a carry that can get away from Nike, then she's gonna be really good. Yeah, but if if you have a carry that gets away from Nike, then she's gonna be probably average. I don't know, but yeah, with the Sunder, you could definitely slam Sunders on supports and Solaners a lot easier now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably just say she's like around a. She could. It's the same as like all these gods have like there's certain matchups that are really good against certain picks and really bad, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like obviously some matchups are just like rough for certain gods, but you just have to like take. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I look at these gods, I mean, he, this Kakolin's probably SS. Yeah, I was talking about that when you were on the on the phone. Like, should yeah. I just see Kukulan being like the SS guy right now in solo? Yeah. Serb? I haven't played much Serb either. I think he's probably. A. I think these guys are better than IQ. Uh-huh. Um, I haven't played Serb yet. Yeah, this is a solo too. Serb is probably pretty standard. I'd say he's probably an A, like normal. He could be really good too against certain gods. You know, I think Serb's kind of like pick dependent. Like if he's usually like a counter pick, he's not something like you slam. Like if I'm like if I'm first pick solo, like these are gods that I can pick pretty safely, except for Arthur, he can get countered. Um, but these three, like you can pick without really getting countered too much. Uh, Serb is usually a counter pick, so he's probably. Probably an A. I don't know what starter you're going on. Probably just probably just X. X it up, yeah. baby. I don't think you ever go Vamp Shroud just because I think the like the standard axe is just better. Vamp Shroud is a bit expensive too, isn't it? Eight fifty. Yeah, and the upgrade sucks. Yeah. Who counters Sun Wukong? Pretty much no button. Like Wukong is just like the best god at like living. He's so good at like baiting and stalling and living. Ah, he is so annoying. And being, he's just so safe. His free um, is so good. His ultimate is like <laughs> I don't know. Achilles has a pretty decent matchup into Wukong because you can kind of you can kind of fuck his tiger or his ox, and you can uh, execute him usually before he gets his ult off. But I mean, I wouldn't really like worry about countering Wukong. There isn't really a counter to Wukong. Uh, I'd just go better god. Or like, better guard and win the game. Pretty much. Yeah, I think Guan can also be pretty good in Doom, and so can Arthur. I mean, pretty much all these gods like above him do pretty well in the Wukong, but nothing counters him. Just play Guan into him and max heal. Just heal the wave. <laughs> yeah. Probably shouldn't, but that'd be pretty funny. But um, oh, dude, I, want, I haven't tried Fenrir. I kind of want to try him. I think to try be like at Fenrir least kinda. decent. I think Fenrir in the jungle too is going to pop off, but... Yeah. I don't know. Um, for ranked... You gotta be playing like a somewhat aggressive on them, right? 
or like you can zone at your tower and then do for ultimates and all that stuff but dude i just have a i just have a bad history with Fenrir. he always <laughs> looks fun and then i play him and then i get to like late game and it's like the most unfun thing ever um uh... he could be really good depending on what you're playing into i don't know it, I think Fender is kind of the same thing, where it's kind of a counter pick, or like it's depending on like what your team is going. That'd make it a lot better. But he's probably he's probably around an A, I would say. Oh, is he better than these gods? No, he's probably a B. Just because he's like dependent. I, mean, I don't know how he does matchup wise and all that stuff. Like he, he I mean, got he a good so. He should actually get owned by all of these gods, I think, for the most part. Yeah, I'd say it's probably B. I see. I it see. just depends. I haven't tried him yet, so I don't know too much about him. Yeah. Same I mean, thing with like Yorm. These, these two could be different. If this is like a normal two, so it would be A, but he doesn't really carry in ranked. Yeah, I'd say yeah. finish play around B. He's also Ooh, quite single it. target. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really do too much. It's just like. It's really comp dependent. I don't know. It could do really well. It could do like absolutely nothing. It's actually kind of like the same thing as tier. But oh. tier is just kind of better in lane. But I, um, just, uh, I mean, don't add guards that like. In. I mean, I guess what? you can add, you can add every guard that that can be played right, but then you can. Well, like, I'm just thinking about like I'm just thinking about like the main solo picks. Yeah, just don't go like, like fucking hero or something. Yeah, yeah. Perk. Um, I don't want to put Cab. I haven't tried him yet, but I feel like Sundering Axe would be kind of big. I mean, Sundering Axe is just kind of normal on him, actually. I don't know. Cabracken. I don't know, man. Uh, I haven't played him, and I haven't played against him either. I, mean, I would say he could probably get bullied by these gods. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about him. Like, if you stand still and somebody's hitting you with a mannequin because you're freeing or something, surely you just get outriders so fucking hard. Yeah, maybe. I would just say he probably gets on. He gets on by these gods. Yeah. I'd say he's probably around B. Yeah, there's what Ardio Jing Chen. I'm not big on Jing Chen, so I think it's dog shit to be honest. Down in the it just feels like it doesn't really do anything. Right. I mean, realistically, it's probably like a B, but like it feels like it does nothing, dude. They also like Stone of Gaia as well, right? Like, a bit like annoying. Yeah, Stone of Gaia matter too. I think I think it's just C, dude. Like, landing face. I think it, I think it'd be a good in support, but I think it's just like kind of just fucking nothing. Yeah. Rebuild on Cuckoo. You just go uh, Warrior Axe, uh, Gaia, Warrior Heavy, Mystical Heavy. You can change up what you want to do. That's what I'm doing now. Um, I would never go Erlang solo. I don't. I don't think you should even be considered a solo. To be honest, like yeah, I, I don't think I don't think anything that happens to this guy will ever make him a solo laner again. Yeah, so solo toast. Bologna. Bologna. I don't know, dude. I'm not big on Bologna. I know Nika is big on Bologna, but I'm not. I mean, she's probably like around an A. She could be pretty solid in some picks. She could probably be around here, maybe. Just because she has a lot of pressure, really, especially with Mannequin. Yeah, little, but little Mannequin in there. Everything I've seen is that she... I don't know, dude, she's just Bologna, like, she's, I don't know. She's fairly easy to gain compared to the guys you see she's on native. top. I just, I think she... Yeah, I mean, these gods are way harder to kill and just do more, in my opinion. Yeah. I think I think someone okay. If this was like a Mika tier list, he'd probably put like Bologna A plus and Osiris A or something. But yeah, yeah I, I mean, every time there's a tier list, it's about a, a bit personal preference as well, right? Like, oh well, yeah, it's always definitely. gonna be like that. Like, I think I think she's A in my opinion. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Then there's Ardio. I haven't tried Ardio yet, but I still think I just, I think Ardio is just bad to be honest. I think she's just so easy to kill and gank. I mean, yeah. all right, for you, like she's she's got to be such an easy gank, right? Yes, she is for sure. Like, you just you just cancel the dash and she dies. Yeah, I'm not gonna put her like in the two. So she just could be her. a bit annoying if I'm playing like a jungle that does bad against cribbles, but even then, yeah, 
I think there's just always going to be a better option than Ardia. And I think she's easy to kill. It's not like she has like a really good start item, I would say. Like, I don't know if you got Warriors on her, but like, Bam Shroud is not... I don't really see it being that good. Chalk in a rank tier list? It's probably C, dude. Uh, it depends. For noob games, it's probably pretty solid. Um, but like for me, it's it's probably here, dude. Like I would <laughs> I would take like. Oh, is Loki really B tier? I mean, I've not seen him yet. I don't know, dude. I think I would. I don't know. Well, okay, get him down. Like you're not considering would, I, or... would I ever pick Loki over any of these other gods? Yeah, look at the dog. I, think I would. Especially with the thorns and update, I think he's just dog. Super shock. Yeah, I'd say I'd say for like noob games, for some reason Chalk has always done really well. Just because he's I guess he just doesn't die. He does well in lane. And he can be pretty um, annoying when it comes to poke. Yeah. For noob games, Chalk is probably like around an A to A+, plus, but for me, I think he's just, he's just C for normal games. And if you go to go bluestone on him, like I don't know if that's for people that are going on him, but then he also becomes an easy target to gank. And he's always like so oh, easy yeah. to gank. I mean, yeah, if you go bluestone on Chalk, I think you're going to get fucked. I just go Axe probably. Well, if you don't get back in big circles. Yeah, true. <laughs> and he heals a lot. Um, what else is there? Herc, I guess. Yeah, Herc. I haven't seen him either, actually. I think Herc is just so easy to counter, dude. Like, I love playing Herc, dude. I wish he was better, but like, there's so many counters that just fuck Herc so hard in solo. And especially if you dash, and the, like, dude, the jungler, you dash, you're just dead. You, like, a jungler just waits or a support waits for you to dash, and then you're just, for a gank, and you just die. It's just, there's so many counters for Herc and he's so easy to kill. At least in solo. In support, it's a lot different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's probably a B. Yeah, Regoth also got nerfed too, that's true. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck they didn't nerf Lotus too, then. If they're gonna nerf a D-shot him like that, might as well nerf Lotus, but... <laughs> um... Uh, have you seen and heard about the animosity, like, Solo and Kali? I don't know, Baka, I don't know how to do it, but... I haven't seen it or played it. Um, Suku? Um, I mean, you could definitely play Suku. I mean, for like ranked, he's probably like around a B. I think he should get like, he could, he should get on for sure. I think. I mean, lane matchup. He has a few decent matchups. Like I think against Nike is good, right? But if it yeah. comes down to how you, the meta is with like the junk up being around solo lane a lot. I think Suku I mean, is like an easy gank. Yeah, he's a really easy gank. So, um, I just think like all these other guys just completely own him. Yeah. I think he, he could pop off in a rank game, but I think he's generally probably around, around a B. Hey, this is Vimana, I guess. I think Vimana is terrible, to be honest. I think he's just dog shit. I never play him. I haven't People seen just him. Buy it. I guess Ankh got nerfed, but like, and sort of generally anti healing, but. Um. Yeah, I think Vimana just dies. Like, uh, there's so many better picks than Vimana. Like, you try to go and you just die every time. Like, they, they turn on you and you die every time with Ankh and anti heal. He's just such an easy target. He could, like, snowball a lead, maybe off of, like, farming a lot, especially, like, the new back camps. He could maybe, yeah. he could maybe go through and, like, get mega farmed because he's, like, one of the best farmers in the game. And then, like. I would rather just have a Nike than a Vimana, though. Nike and Vimana? I would rather have a Nike on my team than a Vimana. Oh, I think I would rather have like literally any of these gods over Vimana. I'd rather yeah. play any of these gods over Vimana. Yeah, even some Wakongas, yeah. but well. like if it comes to like hyper farming, let's pick those gods instead. Okay, bro, I'll put Erlang on the list, man. I think I think Erlang gets <laughs> completely owned by everything. Um, maybe he could cheese people with Mannequin and Solo right now, but I just think generally he's not that good. He's, I think he's better than these gods. He's probably a B. Um, oh, that's kind of disrespectful to these gods, dude. I think he's a C, dude. Like, I think he's a shit. I would never pick him. 
I, I would literally never play it. It's, just, it's the same thing as like Mulan, but not as bad. Maybe it is a Mulan. Oh, the disrespect to Erlang. No, nah, Erlang is more CC. More escape. Yeah, I'd say I would just never pick Erlang. Yeah, Sebek it. should. I would put Sebek generally in A. Okay, I'll put it A. Um, but he doesn't carry. There's a lot of better choices right now, but if these like other solid guardians are here, then Civic probably should be too. Somebody's asking, what about Hades? Do you think there's any potential in Hades right now with like, I don't know, the back okay. or something? Uh, I mean, maybe if you can like, it's kind of, Hades is always going to like have a good place in solo ranked, right? Yeah. He just has like a lot of pressure and he like insta clears waves. Um, but like when it comes to like an actual rank game, I don't know. He's just such an easy gank. He's probably like around a B. It's just like basically Hades will completely own a lane until the jungler shows up and ganks him. Uh, you just like have to you have to hope that your jungler knows how to gank a Hades, which is pretty easy to do. Yeah, I mean Hades and then, will, and then it's just GG. Especially if you're squishy, like Hades will just go down. Yeah, I mean, Hades, Hades normally won't be good, but I think for lower end games, he kind of owns because like junglers don't tend to gank him. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're in a normal game, like Hades just gets ganked and then he just dies. He can't insta clear anymore. Oh, he can't? Really? I feel like he can. Maybe not. Not even He's probably still. Like, I haven't played him, so I don't know. Yeah, hello. Chonga? I think die. Dude, it hurts me, but it's probably an A. But it's ranked. Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. Chunga still is pretty. I mean, I would never play it. Okay, I mean, I'm, it's just. I don't know how I feel about it. I haven't played it yet for season eight either, so I don't even know what I'd build on it. It's probably around like an A to a B. It could be good. I don't know. It's definitely just has an annoying factor. The thing is that pressure is pretty valuable right now. Yeah, I, I mean, think pressure is like, pretty damn important right now. Yeah. And pretty much all of these gods have pressure except for Nike. I don't know. She's probably like around a B. She could, she could be an A, maybe. Yeah. Um, what else is there? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know about like, the, the weird animosity stance, I mean, but I think it would just get tested. completely on. It hasn't been tested that much. Yet, right? So yeah, like, I mean, most of these picks have been tested. I've tested yeah. like, some of these, but but it is like a lot of them is like basic solo lane picks, right? Like if you go yeah. like, for example to Kali now, like I don't think there's been enough play to see like how it works. Odin, that's that's true. I think Odin, Odin could be like okay, but I think generally Odin's just a bad pick. Generally, Odin just kind of like. He, he kind of like stalls the lane. I don't know. He never gets pressure, like ever. I don't know. I would never play him. He usually just kind of loses lane. Um, He's not terrible, but... Yeah, he's a few yeah. scenarios where, he's, where he can pop off. Odin in B. I mean, he, there's certain situations where he's pretty solid for ranked. But... If you're trying to carry a rank game, I mean, I'm just, I'm kind of an, I'm kind of an own player, so. Kind of a big a deal time, out right? here. Kind of. Sanku? He could be, he could probably be C. What? What about Sanku? Oh, um. Is that a guy that's worth playing? I still think Zhong is the same as the last, but we're just kind of like, especially now. I don't know, I mean, he has good lane pressure, right? You kind of like. He's kind of a bully in lane a little bit and heals, but he's kind of just immobile, probably just dies in most team fights. Probably an easy gank for the most part. Um it's probably like around the C. Yeah, probably I mean honestly it is probably C, but for like a normal ranked for a normal ranked game it's probably C. But like when it comes to noob games, he's probably up here. He's probably like A or B. But he's probably C. Odin might be a C as well. I'm not sure. Ardio might be a C actually. I don't think I would ever play Ardio. Yeah, Ardio is probably a C. These are these are basically gods I would never play. 
Yeah, I mean, there's just a few games where if you see value in cribbles and you can win laning phase with Archer, right, then she can be really good. But there's just like so few scenarios where it's actually going to be like that. I mean, unless like the meta significantly changes for Ardio somehow, which I think it doesn't because she's she's easier to kill now than like even last season when she was never picked because she was just bad. I think she's just going to be worse now. She's probably going to be even easier to kill. Yeah. So this is... That's pretty solid. Um, oh yeah, Zhang, yeah, probably, probably C. Pele, I would never pick it. Probably not even a cylinder. No way. Crazy. I think there's a couple warriors I'm missing, right? Um, or do I have it all? I mean, would you consider the list? You consider playing like four still, like it used to be played about. I don't know. Thor for Thor for ranked is probably, oh, dude. I don't know. I haven't I haven't played him yet. I've been wanting to, but he could definitely he could probably own. But I can't imagine being a Thor into a mannequin Osiris or like I don't know. Yeah, that feels kind of awkward. Though. If Thor so. if Thor gets a lead, he's probably a. If he doesn't get a lead, he's probably D. If he's even, he's probably around a B. Yep. I don't know if there's any other guards that I'm like necessarily thinking about. Like, I mean, you there's can like put any guard healers. in solo right, and and I think you can make. Almost... Well, these are like these are like some of the solo picks. Something I don't. Has Chunga been played yet? Uh, like ever? I've seen it one game, but that was like a ten minute stump. So. I don't think I don't think like when it comes to ranked or like competitive, like it's pretty much always just gonna be a Chonga mid, right? Yeah, yeah. I will put Chonga mid right now as well over solo. Yeah, I'm ripping her off the two list. <laughs> she's fucking gone. She's a mid, dude. She's a mid. She's fucking gone. So three months, bro. Uh yeah, there's like a few like niche picks like he is spamming Chonga mid. I knew it, dude. Who? Zeros is farming the EU scene with Chonga mid. Oh, knew it. Good Jake knew it too. Geb? I would never pick Geb solo. Especially now. Poseidon? Okay, he has a trolling, dude. Terra, Robin, Susano, Athena, Mori? Yeah, I was thinking about Mori. I think Mori just gets owned in this season, especially with Bluestone again. If someone goes like, if you go against like a Bluestone Wukong, you probably just get fucked. So I don't think I would ever even pick it. But blue st the stealth card is like Izanami and Mori is like kinda annoying to play now that mannequins blue stone. Like if you talking about like getting out of stealth right, like you yeah. lose that value like a, a bit at least. But I mean Morgan mid obviously is still very good. Baron. I think really like the only time you pick a Baron is in Dune Osiris. So like, that's that's probably the only time I would ever think about picking a Baron. Yeah, I mean, if I'm playing ranked, I'm never gonna pick a Baron, but ah. um, Baron is really good into Osiris. Baron has like one good matchup, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's pro I mean, you could probably play, it and it's fine. It's probably like around a B. I wouldn't say it's as bad as these gods, but it's not. It's not good. But there's a disparity, dude. Like Baron and Hurric are not on the same level. Thor and Hurric. Are Probably not on the same level. That's I guess that's what ha that's what happens when you have like a B plus or whatever. Um, I mean he only has one good matchup. He's probably a C. I don't know, but he he does fine in it most stuff. But I haven't played him this season, so I don't know how well he does. I don't even know what you'd build for a start at him. I have no idea. You wouldn't go vamp. I mean, you'd have to go warrior's axe, and I don't think that sounds that great. That's pretty his, boring. I mean, he only has one good matchup. Robin? I don't think Robin should ever be picked, to be honest. I, I was hopeful, but like... <laughs> maybe he could be okay, but it's just... Dude, he's just... I think he's just a jungler now. His cooldowns are just way too long. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's ever going to be, like, solid. He just doesn't do that much either. He's just kind of a jungler. He just, like, all-ins one carry. Naja, I think it's still like it. it Naja could be like an A to like A plus, I think. 
Naja solo. Oh wait, they fuck Naja. Why? You, it's like so easy to beat roll now. But it, they actually changed that. Yeah, you have point four seconds. Uh, you have point four seconds to react for beats. What? Yeah, they changed it. Like in this um, patch? But they also they also buffed this three and his two. Yeah, this patch. Oh, they did so. They they removed the crit as well or something, didn't they? Yeah, they removed the crit and oh, increased the damage, true. and then they changed how the healing works. I kind of forgot about her. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I I like playing Naja a lot last season. Um, and he he like owns ranked, but they also nerfed regrowth. Um, and they nerfed sludge. Wait, are you so saying? I'm not sure. You mean zero like point four seconds, right? Yeah, zero point four. Yeah. I was just like thinking if you said one point four seconds, like it's no way. Be like one and a half second. It's point four total. Um. Yeah, I mean they nerfed they nerfed Regrowth Sledge and they nerfed his ult. I'm not sure. I still think he just kinda owns. I think he's just like solid and ranked just because he heals so much and he can kinda like one shot carries. But I mean Naja and a good call on that sounds like a rough time right now, dude. Uh, ain't gonna be fun. He's probably a B. He could he could be an A maybe, but it's gonna be I think the laning phase is gonna be pretty rough for him now. Just because they're like Warriors Blessing isn't there to like save him and they nerfed all his items. Terra? I haven't I'm I am literally not a Terra player. I think I played that god like one time in comp. I don't know where she would go. I think she would she should generally like just lose lane and get owned. I mean, if you can get late game and you have a somewhat decent team around her, she can be so good, but her early game is just... Like, do you want to give up the laning phase? Especially with pressure being like how it is right now, I think it's just like probably C. It could maybe be a B, one but I would, I would never play Terra. I would see one cheese thing is like you have your st uh, free down and then you auto attack on mannequins and you slow them at the same time. Oh, she has AoE mannequins. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe then, but... I don't know. Wait, she has Frostbound, AoE Mannequin. Huh. Oh, please don't say that's good, dude. Oh, please don't say that's good. <laughs> I mean, now I don't know. Because I, I haven't played against it and I haven't played it. I think I saw Benny play it the other day. He still lost, like, traits. Like very hard to. I think it was. It could cool. I don't think. I don't think it would make her an A. Maybe it's good, but like I don't know. Merc solo. I would never. I would never play it. Okay, I'll put Chonga back on, dude. Where did I put Chonga? Is a B, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah I think it's a B. Mannequin Sylvanas. I've never played Sylvanas. Mannequin. Mannequin cannot make it a Sylvanas solo work, dude. One item cannot do that. Mannequin's procs are ult immediately. Yeah, I mean that doesn't really like change like her landing phase though. And plus you'd have to like auto them to proc it. Um I mean Terra could maybe be around an A with mannequin, I'm not sure. I haven't played it or played against it, but maybe I'm putting too much disrespect on it, but I don't know anything about it. I don't think mannequin can like be that crazy for her, maybe though. I'd say it's probably around a B. It could maybe be an A though. Actually, wait. I mean, I feel like I feel like Terra just get owned by some of these gods. Like, yeah. I don't, know. I don't think Terra's gonna like. Mm. I really don't think it's gonna change too much, even though she can do yeah. two attacks. True. What are the gods am I forgetting? Pele, I would never go Pele solo. Ares solo, I never do that either. So this looks like it's gonna be like towards the warrior meta for now, at least for ranked. Yeah, I mean that's kind of generally how it is for ranked. Like, yeah, guardians just don't carry that hard. Um, that didn't make sense. Yeah, I don't think I'm really forgetting anything here. Alan Sus. Um, I mean generally for ranked, I don't know. I think I think Susan is just gonna get dumpstered. Um, you might be able to do something cheese with Animosity and Alquong. I'm not sure. I haven't really tried them out too much, but I wouldn't really put them as like a standard solo laner. These are like, these are like generally the solo laners that you'd see. Oh, Smiter's up, by the way. Ranked time with really? 25. Oh. Yeah. 
Um, that's about it, right? Give me I've never given me. I think that's it, right? Yeah, Morgan. I, mean, I think Morgan gets done by Bluestone and some other picks. Just gets like kind of dogged. I think it's like a good overall with like a lot of guards. I don't like again literally in solo lane you could play any guard. Like you can pick backwards, you can make it work, right? But yeah. I don't feel like they're worth adding. After, I mean, there's like a billion other picks that you could go solo here, like Lazarus said. Yeah. Like there's Kuzumbo. I think pretty much like all these gods that aren't on the list are probably just gonna get owned or not do that well in ranked. If it's not on this list right now, then I think um, generally it's not going to do well, or it's going to get owned, or it's like kind of like an off meta, like spicy pick that could like maybe do well in certain situations, but like generally not going to be that great. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's like the healers like Afro and Hell that are probably going to be like generally around like same with like Changa. Like you can maybe play them in solo and it would work, but like generally Hell should get owned. Changa is probably just going to be better mid. Hell's going to be better mid. Um, so is Afro. Afro, I think, is, I mean, Afro's bogged right now. Um, she's always been like a generally decent solo in ranked. I'd probably just slap her in an A because she's fucking Afro and you just go Lotus Crown, you're unkillable and you make everyone else unkillable. But she doesn't carry that hard. She's just, she's just Afro. I mean, she's, she's fucking there. annoying. But yeah. Zeus, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the gods, right? No worries left out of this list. Think so, I don't right? know. Run Axe on all of them? Uh, I would go Axe on Kikolan. I would go Axe on Arthur. Axe on Guan. Probably Mannequin on Set. Um, Mannequin on Ama. You could go Axe or Bluestem. I'd probably lean Bluestem for Wukong. I'd probably say you could probably go Mannequin or Axe on Kama. Um, you could go Mannequin or Axe on Osiris, but I'd lean towards Mannequin because he's kind of like early game. Probably Mannequin on Baluna. Not sure on Nike, but probably probably just Axe. Maybe Mannequin, but I'd probably just say Axe. So like, I literally don't know. Probably Axe. Achilles is probably an Axe or a Mannequin. Tear is probably a Bluestone. Cthulhu and Serb are probably Axe. Yeah, that's it. Kiku goes Axe. All right, you gonna do your jungle tier list? Big mm -hmm. mine's wrapped up here. Yeah, we can we can go through that. You want me to do it for you, or are you gonna do it? Yeah, you, you can do it. You can be the man. Wait, do we take a screenshot of that? Sure. Okay. I'll take a screenshot of this. Are you taking it? Yeah. I mean, you can just take one. Snap a pic, dude. Nice. Athena? I would never go Athena. I mean, it's like, generally, anything that isn't on this list, I wouldn't go. Or I, I think it wouldn't do that well. I mean, Athena could work, but like, it's not going to be that great. Heimdall? Bruh. Maybe there'll be like an off meta to this one day. <laughs> one day when the servers go down again and Lazarus forces me to sit here. Yeah.